Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's weather in five, five days in five minutes. And we are seeing uh, really the tale of uh, two seasons here uh, where we have a hurricane out in the Atlantic, Lorenzo, that's actually going to be very important in the long term weather outlook across uh, Europe, Asia, and the United States. It's going to be driving a big pattern change. But we have a, an historic uh, snowstorm that is underway uh, in the Northern Rockies. This is a uh, live stream from the Glacier Electric Company. Uh, it's a co-op uh, up in uh, Northwest Montana near Cutbank. And uh, they're forecasting uh, two feet plus here. And of course, it's already underway. This major storm uh, is uh, going to produce up to four feet of snow in some areas in Northwestern Montana. There's winter storm warnings up all over the place. Uh, but uh, while they're in uh, dealing with this, we, on the other hand, are dealing with this. We've got temperatures today that are going to reach up uh, to about 80 or low 80s, uh, go down into southern Pennsylvania <clears throat> and down into Maryland. You're talking about uh, temperatures in the upper 80s and even around 90 degrees. North and east of New York City, temperatures will be in the upper 70s to around 80 and uh, we are perhaps going to see the chance for a shower or a thunderstorm late today. Looking at the satellite uh, view uh, this morning, uh, there is uh, still a fair amount of sunshine to get to get through here before our weather front moves on through. I'm wondering whether just like a couple of days ago when we had the last front, the uh, models seem to really underdo the showers with that. And uh, I'm uh, wondering whether that may be the case today, uh, at least at the moment. Uh, there's not a whole lot happening. You see uh, some showers that are running through up uh, north central and into northeastern New York eventually. And we also have some showers moving into western Pennsylvania. It, it looks to me like they're going to probably hold off until sometime later this evening. They may come through after sunset, which means the, uh, the vast majority of the daytime today is going to be rain-free with no issues. So uh, going forward uh, over the next uh, five days or so, we've got a few uh, changes to deal with. First off, uh, we have a cold front that's moving through here, as I said, for this evening and tonight. Uh, we get whatever we get with it. and some mo The models seem to be underdoing it, but I think it's probably important to watch the radar. Then for Sunday, uh, it's uh, developing onshore flow time, and that's going to mean a northeast wind. We should have a high that's building down uh, from Canada uh, and eventually is going to head uh, south uh, off the uh, coastline and to the mid-Atlantic coast as we move in th uh, through the first days of next week. So we're looking at sunshine for Sunday. Should be a nice day. Temperatures will be a little lower. And uh, Monday as well, probably holding on into the 70s. And even on Tuesday, it might not be until later in the day Tuesday uh, that that west-southwest flow starts. So that might keep the temperatures at bay a bit, even though a setup like this would normally take temperatures well up into the 80s to maybe even near 90 in some spots. Uh, it might uh, take a, a little more time to, to, to bring it there. It may happen on Wednesday, and I think Wednesday will be the hottest day of this stretch. There'll be another cold front pressing down from the north. We'll have a mostly west or even a west-northwest wind ahead of it, and that will probably take temperatures <clears throat> well up into the 80s to near 90. And then that front goes by, and this is going to start this process that I mentioned earlier where we're going to see um, autumn weather uh, as uh, we uh, start to move through the early part of the month of October as high pressure builds in. And it's going to be a matter of cold front after cold front coming down and highs coming in with shots of uh, actually rather reasonably cool air. I think uh, you, for those of you who want the uh, summertime, uh, the uh, autumn weather, weather you uh, may uh, wind up uh, being genuinely happy about this. Up in the northwest, you can see the storm churning away here. A uh, big upper low has uh, dropped down uh, into uh, Oregon, and it's going to take about two days for this thing uh, to uh, lift on out. And uh, meanwhile, you've got Hurricane Lorenzo, which actually got a little bit distorted uh, la uh, last night, but it looks like it's making a bit of a comeback today. The eye is reappearing. It's still over very warm water. Uh, so here's, uh, just to show you what the models are doing, you, you see this in the wintertime, or at least much deeper into the fall. 
Uh, it's going to be very warm across much of the central Rockies and in th into uh, the, the Dakotas as this low takes shape uh, to the west. But look at all that snow that's forecast to fall uh, in, um, uh, for, in even back through parts of Oregon and Washington State and in areas to the northeast. And meanwhile, with Lorenzo, what we've been talking about is the fact that uh, Lorenzo is eventually going to make its way to the Az Azores. Uh, and from there... Uh, weather models seem to be wanting to take it very close to Ireland, England, and Scotland in the longer term. And this would be for the latter part of this week. And we're going to be uh, talking about this on our regular live stream uh, later on uh, today. In the meantime, uh, with regards to Lorenzo's long-term implications on the overall pattern, you watch it here on, the, on this particular satellite, I'm sorry, on this particular loop of the uh, jet stream, uh, the first frame right there, uh, it, you see Lorenzo going up uh, into from the Azores into uh, Ireland and toward Ireland, Ireland and England. But meanwhile, watch what's going on between uh, Newfoundland and the southern tip of Greenland. You've got a very big Atlantic upper air storm that forms there, and then you start to see these short waves that be, that move along in the flow in the jet stream, one after another coming into the northeast and that's i think where we're headed here and as each one of those systems moves through uh, there will be uh, shots of cold air uh, colder air to deal with uh, behind it so uh, that pretty much uh, wraps things up today uh, on this uh, saturday uh, weather in five uh, as always uh, five days and five minutes i took a little day off yesterday uh, to do a, a bit of uh, early fall house cleaning uh, power washing just about anything that moves around here. So uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, we're going to try and do a live stream later today so we can uh, get into detail on everything that's going on between the snowstorm in the, nor in the northern Rockies to Lorenzo out in the Atlantic and what it means for the longer term pattern change. So look for that on my YouTube channel. Patreon members, uh, I will uh, schedule that at some point later today. And in the meantime, we do have some website posts up. And be sure to download the free weather app if you haven't already. And if you do have it, please uh, make sure you've downloaded the update uh, because uh, it will now uh, default to your location. And I believe on the uh, iPhone, uh, it also defaults to your own location uh, when you pull up the Zoom radar, which is a good thing. So we're trying to get that uh, little fix put in for the uh, Android users to get it to do the same thing on that end. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, we will, uh, we'll see you later.